Ah, yes, the satisfying snap of an elastic band. Today I have another sketchbook tour for you. This is a Hannah Mueller watercolor sketchbook, and I actually really like it a lot. I really like the size. On this first page, you'll see I'm just, I have a bunch of swatches from different mediums that I used, and here we have Chili Willy from a kid's cartoon show and the cat bus from My Neighbor Totoro. And this painting was the first video that I did for my YouTube channel, so it has a special place in my heart. And I'm just gonna move right along through this one, keep it nice and short and sweet. I think we all enjoy short videos from time to time. Here's a little mushroom house and a bat some landscape paintings. All the stuff in here is pretty simple and straightforward paintings. And most of them are done with gouache paint or my Posca pens because they're fun and easy to use and they both have really bright colors. Here we have a Daisy Page and Pickle Rick or Pinkle Rick. <laughs> oh, and then this, my least favorite spread in the whole book. I don't know why, I just don't like it. I thought about going over it and didn't. And this is Ken and I as Powerpuff Girls. Mwah! How obnoxious am I? I kept doing that to him after I painted this, like going up to them or going up to him and making them kiss. This is Oblina and Crumb from Avril Monsters. It was on the Nickelodeon channel when I was growing up and it was one of my brother and I's favorite cartoons. Absolutely loved it. And if you watch it now, it's really interesting from like an illustrative aspect because it's really dark since it's underground and they use a lot of cool colors. Here is a Posca pen paintings. I was just working with lettering a little bit, which I'm not very good at, which is why I was practicing. Some simple flowers, more simple flowers. Here's a watercolor painting, which is a solid ink background for the black sky. I was actually kind of impressed with this painting. I don't use watercolors too often, so the fact that it turned out as well as it did uh, had me kind of happy. And here's a little picnic spread that I did. It was inspired by Mira Byler's channel and her uh, things to draw in your sketchbook. Just a little pride ally page. And then these next five pictures were all for a five easy Posca pen video that I did on my channel. So if you want to check that out, you can just go to my channel to find it. I would say I would link it, but knowing me, I will forget to do that later on. <laughs> and this is another one of my favorite spreads. It's a little retro page and I just love how the peace sign turned out with the tie dye effect in it. Oh, and I like this one too. It's simple and easy, but it turns out really well. I had higher hopes for this beach spread. I really kind of thought it would turn out a little better, but it's okay. This I just did mindlessly. It was more like a meditative doodly sort of thing, and it was really enjoyable. Maybe my camera will focus. There we go. There we go. And I just added some Prismacolor pencil texture over top. Oh, back to focused. Now you can see the texture that it created. And yeah, this is cute. Okay, go away now. Next page. Mm, there we go. And here, I really like this banana that I did. I like the shadow in the background. That was a happy accident because the pencil I used was a cool erase, which happens to be water soluble. Oh, these are the golden so flat paints. I got samples sent to me from the company of them just a little bit. It was enough to do this painting. They didn't have any white or black, so I had to use different paint for that, but I really enjoyed using those paints. This page spread is kind of uh, bare, but that's okay. Not a every page has to be a masterpiece. It is just a sketchbook after all. And I think in general with this sketchbook, I feel like I took a very easy approach. It was more about filling it and completing it and having that sort of high of filling a sketchbook rather than really challenging myself with all the page spreads. Here we have some cute mushrooms just done with some paper cutouts that I made. A sketch of my cat and a sketch of an ant. Oh, in this painting, I had so much fun creating these beautiful bright clouds. Lastly, we have a fun fall spread with this pretty, pretty pumpkin. And I think this is the last full page spread. So if you made it this far, be sure to give the video a thumbs up. 
And a special shout out to all of my patrons over on Patreon. It is my first month with that. And so thank you, Ken, Liz, Mel, Laura, and Allison. Thank you guys so much for being my patrons. And this month, everyone is getting this free jack o -Land sticker uh, with their Patreon rewards, uh, regardless of what tier. So if you'd like to get one too, you can still sign up for that. Thanks, guys. Bye.